Hello and welcome to Road Rush Nation. I've got some exciting news. Harley Davidson just released the new Screaming Eagle 135 Stage 4 crate engine, and we're going to check it out. I'm super excited, so hang out and let's check out the new 135 Stage 4. Welcome to Road Rush Nation. I'm Terry, your host here, and thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the channel. If you're already a member of the nation, thank you so much for being part of it and supporting this channel. If you'd like to be a member of the nation, it's free. All you need to do is give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an upcoming episode. Now let's get to the good stuff, what we've been talking about here. We've had the 131 for quite a few years, and you know, we made a big deal about the new CVO and only having a 117 in it. Why didn't it have a 131? And then here comes a surprising announcement just the beginning of March that Harley has come out with the new Screaming Eagle 135 Stage 4 crate engine. So I was pretty excited about this. So this complete Milwaukee 8 engine, and it's for a 2021 and later touring model. It's the new benchmark for factory engineered American V-Twin Perform, offering the most displacement and the most power ever created by Harley-Davidson for a street-compliant crate engine. Its development was fueled in part by uh, the efforts of the Harley-Davidson Screaming Eagle factory racing team competing in Moto America Mission King of the Baggers Road Racing Series. And if you're going to be in Daytona here, don't forget to go to the King of the Baggers. It's freaking awesome. So this street-tuned 135 cubic inch which is 2,212 cc Screaming Eagle crate engine is designed to run with a wide open throttle at high engine speeds and provide instant passing power from cruising speed. The engine delivers 143 cubic feet of rear wheel torque at 3,500 RPM and 130 rear rear wheel horsepower at 5,500 RPM, approximately 28% more torque and 41% more horsepower at the rear, rear wheel than a production Milwaukee 8 117. That's a freaking great improvement over the 117. So let's talk about more in detail. So this, this street ready performance engine features premium Screaming Eagle components. It's got the new 68 millimeter throttle body and a matching CNC machined intake originally developed for Harley-Davidson Screaming Eagle factory racing team engines to maximize airflow to the engine. Screaming Eagle Extreme CNC ported cylinder heads provide significantly improved efficiency of cylinder filling, leading to more explosive power and increased rear wheel torque when compared to stock. High performance valve springs remain stable with the high lift cam and in high RPM operation. It's also got the Screaming Eagle Pro Billet cam plate and oil pump provides higher pressure when the oil is hot to keep pressure drops to a minimum. It's got the new 10.7 to 1 high compression forged pistons. Um, it's got some an improvement on the cylinder walls, on the flywheel. It's got the high capacity for fuel injector. It's got the Screaming Eagle ventilator, extreme air cleaner, and Screaming Eagle street cannon mufflers, each sold separately. So those are sold separately. And they're not required, but they're highly recommended for your peak performance out of your 135. The Screaming Eagle 135 Stage 4 Performance Crate Engine is intended for bolt-in installation in an original equipment style, 2021 or later Harley-Davidson touring chassis. No special modification or engine mount relocation is required. The engine is backed up by a two-year manufacturer's warranty, um, so you've got that coverage. Um, now, here comes the MSRP. Now, we know that the 131, they were running around 6000 when they first came out, and I haven't looked at the price lately, but this new 135 has got an MSRP of $7,999.95, so just make it $8,000. It's offered in two different finishes, black or chrome finish. And, you, and of course it comes with your badging so everybody knows you got a 135. We all like to put that out. So there's two versions of the engine will be offered. For the 121 and later touring models equipped with an air oil cooled Milwaukee 8 engine or for the 2021 and later touring models equipped with a twin cooled Milwaukee 8 engine. The engine does not fit trikes, so this won't go in a trike. Sorry, guys. There's always a couple extra parts that you have to purchase, you know, for the air-cooled models or for a factory oil cooler and things like that. So always check with your parts, guys, in order to... But all models require the ECM recalibration with 
Screaming Eagle Pro Street Tuner for proper installation. So none of these outside tune. Um, sorry for all of you guys that are in California. It does not fit California models. Of course, the EPA stuff get it always gets you in California. Personally, I think this 135, hey, it's the next step up. What I would love to see is when somebody gets one of these in, in a bike and gives us some feedback on it. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm wondering if next year with the CVOs, if they're going to put the 131 in those now that this they have the 135. That would be a massive improvement. We've only seen one CVO out so far this year, and we have the rest of them coming out later. I would not anticipate they'd put a 131 in any of those upcoming CVOs because that would make this the current uh, Road Glide Unlimited just not worth it, and they're going extremely high anyway. So hopefully you found this interesting on this 135 Stage 4. Thanks again for supporting the channel, and if you liked what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to be a member of the nation, remember, it's free. Just give us that thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can become a member of the nation. Thanks again, ride safe, and I hope to catch you on the highway.